welcome to the session. I am Deepika here. Let's discuss the question which says integrate the following rational function 2x minus 3 upon x square minus 1 into 2x plus 3. Now we know that if form of the rational function is px square plus qx plus r upon x minus a into x minus b into x minus c then the form of the partial fraction is a over x minus a plus b over x minus b plus c over x minus c where a, b and c are real numbers to be determined suitably. So this is a key idea behind our question. We will take the help of this key idea to solve the above question. So let's start the solution. Now we have to integrate the rational function 2x minus 3 upon x square minus 1 into 2x plus 3. Now the integrand is a proper rational function. Therefore according to our key idea or by using the form of partial fraction we can write this integrand is equal to a over x plus 1 plus b over x minus 1 plus cx plus d upon 2x plus 3 where a, b, c and d are real numbers to be determined suitably. So this gives two x minus three is equal to a into x minus 1 into 2x plus 3 plus b into x plus 1 into 2x plus 3 plus cx plus d into x plus 1 into x minus 1 which is x square minus 1. Therefore 2x minus 3 is equal to a into 2x square plus 3x minus 2x minus 3 plus b into 2x square plus 3x plus 2x plus 3 plus cx cube minus cx plus dx square minus d. Now on equating the coefficients of
एक्स क्यू एक्स स्क्र एक्स एंड द कॉन्स्टेंट टर्म वी गेट लेट इज फर्स्ट इक्वेट द कोफिशियंट ऑफ एक्स क्यू वी गेट C is equal to zero. Let us give this equation as number one. Now, on equating the coefficient of x square, we have two a plus two b plus d is equal to zero. Let us give this equation as number two. Now, on equating the coefficient of x, we have a plus 5b minus c is equal to 2. Let us give this as number 3. Now, on equating the constant terms, we have minus 3a. Plus 3b minus d is equal to minus 3. Let us give this as number 4. Now we will solve all these equations. Now on adding equation 2 and equation 4, we get Now two is two a plus two b plus d is equal to zero. Now equation four is minus three a plus three b minus d is equal to minus three. We have minus a plus five b. Is equal to minus three. Let us give this as number five. Now, on substituting the value of c in equation three, we get. Plus 5b is equal to 2. Now, from equation 5, we have minus a plus 5b is equal to minus 3. So on adding we get ten b is equal to minus one or b is equal to minus one upon ten. Now on substituting. The values of b and c in equation three, we get a minus five into one by ten minus zero is equal to two. This implies a. Minus one by two is equal to two, or a is equal to two plus one by two, which is equal to five by two. Now on C. 
substituting the values of A and B in equation 2, we get now equation 2 was 2A plus 2B plus D is equal to 0. So 2A is 2 into 5 by 2 plus 2B. Now B is equal to minus 1 by 10. So minus 2 into 1 by 10 plus D is equal to 0. So this implies 5 minus 1 by 5 plus D is equal to 0. Again, this implies D is equal to 1 by 5 minus 5 or D is equal to minus 24 upon 5. So we have a is equal to 5 by 2, B is equal to minus 1 upon 10, C is equal to 0, and D is equal to minus 24 upon 5. So our integrand 2x minus 3 upon x square minus 1 into 2x plus 3 is equal to, now A is 5 by 2, so we have 5 by 2 into x plus 1, b is minus 1 by 10, so this is minus 1 over 10 into x minus 1, plus cx plus d upon 2x plus 3, now c is equal to 0 and d is minus 24 upon 5, so this is minus 24 upon 5 into 2x plus 3. Therefore, integral of 2x minus 3 upon x square minus 1 into 2x plus 3 dx is equal to 5 by 2 into integral of 1 over x plus 1 dx minus 1 by 10 into integral of 1 over x minus 1 dx minus 24 upon 5 into integral of 1 over 2x plus 3 dx. Now we know that the process of differentiation and integration are inverses of each other and derivative of log of x plus 1 is equal to 1 over x plus 1. So we have this is equal to 5 by 2 into log of mod x plus 1 minus 1 by 10 log of mod x minus 1 minus 24 upon 5 into 2 log of mod 2x plus 3 plus c. And this is again equal to 5 by 2 log mod of x plus 1 minus 1 by 10 log of mod x minus 1 minus 12 upon 5 into log mod of 2x plus 3 plus c. Hence, the answer for the above question is 5 by 2 log mod x plus 1 minus 1 by 10 log mod x minus 1 minus 12 upon 5 log mod 2x plus 3 plus c. I hope the solution is clear to you. Bye and take care.